Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am Shai, I'm an artist and knitter, and today I'm making a piece for a drawing challenge over on Instagram. It's been ages since I joined one of these challenges. I draw this in your style challenge. So when I saw an artist I follow post a character, I just had to jump on it. The design is so cute. The character I'm drawing today is designed by and belongs to Try Try Again on Instagram. I have linked her account in the description. If you like cute anime art, you should totally go check her out. She makes adorable artwork. For pieces like this, I like to do multicoloured line art. I first cleaned up the sketch I'd made in my sketchbook digitally, printed it off and transferred it to this watercolour paper. Clairefontaine Gold Line Aquapad Cold Press, 300 GSM if anyone's asking, and I like to paint on the back side of the papers because the texture is smoother on that side. I have a little bit of a hang up on textured paper at times. I then go over the line art with this dark pink ballpoint pen. It's a random Korean school pen my friend sent me and I use it all the time. I then do a second pass with a Sakura Pigma brush pen, fine tip. Both of these are waterproof so no unexpected accidents will happen when I start painting. I start painting by laying down base colours for all areas of the painting. Her outfit will be grey and black, but I want a cohesive mauve tone for this painting, so I'm doing a base layer in this colour, as well as bringing it into my shading of the skin.
I can't really give pointers for how I paint after that stage as I tend to do things slightly different each time. I really get in the flow when painting. Painting the hair and eyes are my favourite part, so I always save them for last. One thing I will say though, is I need to learn to plan what I want to do with my backgrounds for pieces like this. But it's again me going with the flow of the painting. I realised way too late I should put tape around where I want the paint. But that's a finished painting! I hope you've enjoyed watching this little character come to life. Once again, the creator of this drawing challenge and character is linked in the description. Go give her a like and follow if you like cute art. You can also find my art Instagram and TikTok linked in the description. Thank you so much for watching this video. 
If you want to see more art, as well as knitting podcasts, sewing tutorials, vlogs, and more, please consider clicking the subscribe button, as well as ringing the little bell to get notified whenever I upload. Like the video if you liked it, and leave a comment. Thank you again for being here, and I will see you very, very soon in my next video. Take care of yourselves, and have a great time. Bye!